We have some breaking news to bring you. We've just learned that former New York City Mayor Ed Koch has passed. Ed was 88 years old. Of course, he served uh, here in New York City as the mayor from 1978 until 1989 and was still such a strong political force and quite a character and so beloved by both sides of the political aisle and by the city and the nation, really. Here's uh, ABC 7 Diana Williams. We don't know yet the sacrifices all of us will have to make to get this city back on its feet. Pain and but sacrifice. That's what newly elected Mayor Ed Koch prepared New Yorkers for on election night back in 1977. He was about to become the city's 105th mayor. The city was broke, crime was up, and the subways were a mess. You can level with the people of this city even during a political campaign. Cynics declared the city couldn't be governed, but Ed Koch went to work. He slashed budgets and restored the city's credit, making the Big Apple solvent again. But more importantly, he changed the mood of the city. Ah, give this man a prize. Joking with people on the street and offering his trademark greeting. How am I doing? <laughs> the mood, though, changed again when transit workers went on strike in April of 1980. Mayor Koch stood his ground. I just want to thank you for all that you're going through and the, cutcher, the courage that you're showing. Few can forget the image of Koch greeting commuters as they walked across the Brooklyn Bridge. The strike lasted 11 days, and in the end, he defeated the union. You're making it possible for the city to stand up and do what's right. Ed Koch was always one to stand up for what he believed in. He was born in 1924 in the Morrisania section of the Bronx to parents of Polish Jewish descent. He entered politics as a liberal, elected to city council and then Congress. At one point, he ran for governor, but his love for the city may have cost him the job when he told a reporter with Playboy magazine that rural areas were a joke and that, quote, living in Albany would be a fate worse than death. Koch was never one to mince words, and often those words came back to haunt him. But voters still elected him to a third term as mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much. By the late 80s, though, voters were growing weary. Koch's third term was shaken by scandal, and he upset African-American voters with his criticism of Jesse Jackson. Koch further inflamed racial tensions following the brutal murder of a young black man, Yusuf Hawkins, by a group of white men in Bensonhurst. At the time, many in the black community felt Koch was insensitive when he spoke out against the people who took to the streets protesting the racial violence. In 1989, the fourth term that Koch wanted so much eluded him. He lost the Democratic primary to David Dinkins. This job is special. You impact on the lives of people and they have an opportunity to tell you whether they like it or dislike it. So that is irreplaceable. I'm Ed Koch. Koch remained extremely active after leaving office. Even with failing health, he was out campaigning for Mayor Bloomberg's re-election for a third term. He wrote books and newspaper columns and appeared on TV shows and movies, often portraying himself. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, it's an emergency. I'm looking for a frog who can sing and dance. If he can also balance the budget, I'll hire him. After all, it was the role he relished the most. Thank you and God bless. Diana Williams, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.